All right, hey everyone, Wesley here, and I'm in uh, Austria for the Polychain Developer Immersive. Um, it's a two week program where developers from all around the world have gathered together at this beautiful uh, chalet in this mountain resort, and um, we're here to learn about Rust and Holochain. It's day two, we just started learning about Rust yesterday. Uh, some of us, like myself, um, already have a bit of experience working with the language and, and Holochain itself. Some of the other developers are, are completely new, so it's gonna be really uh, cool and interesting to see um, how far we all progress together. And, and it's not just about uh, the learning, we're, we're all gonna be uh, getting to know each other and, and making new friends and exploring the uh, surrounding area. I mean, this is pretty nice, pretty nice spot. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I guess, start vlogging and, and start to kind of capture what it's like to be here so that uh, other people that are interested in knowing what it's like to, to come to an immersive um, developer boot camp, maybe this, this video can sort of capture a bit of that. Quick overview of the Holochain Dev Immersive so far, what, what this is all about. So basically, Holo, which is a company that is building a business model built off of Holochain. So the, the company basically is the main steward of the, Ho the open source Holochain project. They have been pushing Holochain to, to get to a very stable point so that we can start attracting more developers to start using it so it's not as difficult, it's not as much of a headache to continuously update your app to use the latest version. So it's just kind of the right time to start to really um, focus a lot more on education and, and trying to build a stronger, larger ecosystem of, of software developers that build H apps. We're doing it in, in Austria because I guess there was there is a, a nice location, which um, you can kind of see. I'll definitely be doing a tour of it at some point, um, but it's, it's like a really big uh, four story building. Um, everyone basically has their own room. But yeah, it's a two week intensive immersive course where every day we have two or three lectures, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And, and after each lecture, there's usually a one to two hour period of working through programming exercises that have been set up for us. And there's a number of people from the Holochain ecosystem that uh, can really help us um, hit the ground running. And uh, I think it's gonna be really exciting to see uh, what kinds of ideas and projects come out of this, especially now that we're starting to do Holochain specific stuff. All right, so it's day five here in Austria at the Holochain Dev Immersive. Um, we just finished up our morning session, again, talking about Holochain. We had to learn about Rust for the first few days because to write Holochain applications, which are called HAPs, you need to write them in Rust for the time being. Yeah, I don't know how much I wanna say about Holochain specifically, but it's a framework for creating fully distributed applications. It is architecturally quite different than, than other things out there. And I think um, for any developers or tech savvy people out there, it's, it's um, very intellectually uh, satisfying to, to go down that rabbit hole and, and, and to try and understand how it works. But yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the learning experience has been like so far. So basically we go into this like uh, mini theater room, which is just acting as a lecture hall. Basically Marcus or Guillaume will um, a, walk us through a lecture, but it's it's very different than what I'm used to in university because the, the lecturer, the instructor, is very uh, in tune with where the, the students are at. So um, the, the precedent or expectation has been set to like stop the instructor, to ask questions along the way, because the primary objective is to ensure that everyone is following along and actually understands what we're talking about and what we're learning about. As a participant, it, it's, it's like really, it's really nice knowing that my level of understanding is really important to the instructor and there's the space and the time to uh, adjust the pace of the lecture as long as you're comfortable and able to uh, make your uncertainty and confusion uh, clear 
um, there's so many people around to, whether it's the instructors or other students, to help walk you through what you might be confused about or your questions or to help you think about the things more clearly because it's a difficult concept to understand at first. Okay, I just want to give a little tour of the, the uh, facility here. So right now I'm standing in the main dining hall, which is where we um, eat and also uh, where many of us work on our developer exercises. That's Guillaume, one of the Holochain geniuses here. Um, and then basically we have the main hall. Um, this is where we like eat our food. Um, and then we have a kitchen in here, um, obviously where the food gets prepared. Got a lounge area in here. Just like another hangout working spot. Um, downstairs, there's a basement down there. And we got an upstairs. So there's four floors. This is the, I guess, first main floor of the rooms. And then up here is the top floor. Um, this is where my room is. Punk bed, sleeping in that bed. Yeah. Yeah, this is the place, it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> All right, so it's day, I think six or no, seven. Anyway, it's Sunday. Um, so we've had the weekend off during the developer immersive to kind of unwind or explore, just hang out and then sort of not go through curriculum or catch up on some of the developer exercises. Um, and so some of us, we, there's like this really nice river nearby that we went to and just hung out. I mean, this whole area is incredibly beautiful. Um, so it's it's nice to, to have some time to get out and just, you know, appreciate where we are. I mean, there's a ski lift like right, right up there. One of my favorite things about this program so far has actually just been the people and how amazing and interesting uh, they all are. I've had so many great conversations already and like spanning from deeply technical things to really philosophical or business ideas or life experiences. Like I always look forward to every conversation that I'm about to, about to have or whoever I end up sitting next to during one of the meals. <laughs> Okay, so it is Wednesday of the second week of the Developer Immersive. Uh, we finally finished up doing lectures yesterday, finished up learning about Holochain, some of the um, like sort of more advanced features of it. Um, and now today and tomorrow the focus, and I guess maybe a bit of Friday as well, is, is a hackathon. So I think today people are going to be picking some projects that they want to be working on. Oh yeah, so yesterday we also had a uh, two different calls with um, different projects in the Holochain ecosystem. So first we had a call with Emmeline from the Neighborhoods Project and so she gave us a bit of an overview of the project and that was really cool. I think one of the most exciting projects currently in the Holochain ecosystem just because I think it really will allow groups of individuals to um, create digital environments that suit their needs and their culture um, really well and, and be able to create sort of custom group experiences that don't really exist at the moment. And then, oh yeah, so then after that we had a chat with uh, Tats from Kizuna, so that's like a messaging um, application, kind of like Signal, I guess, except totally distributed, built on Holochain. Um, he walked us through the code base, so it, I mean, these were really great experiences just to, to sort of hear from people that have been working with the technology for a really long time. It's crazy because the the developers and the members of this community are spread across the world. So it just opens up so many incredible opportunities to, to meet other people, to, to join projects that are um, really interesting. The, the Holochain ecosystem is, is like really nascent at the moment. So there's not the, the number of devel developers working with Holochain is not that big and what that means for you know people like myself or the other developers here is that it doesn't take very long or too much work to really make a difference to and to get noticed by other people.
Okay, so it's the last day of the Holochain Developer Immersive. Uh, we're all packing up and getting ready to go. And we just finished a two-day hackathon, which was the end of the curriculum. Uh, so all the developers here spent the past two days um, building their own Holochain application or uh, improving on existing ones or uh, just going through sort of design, uh, going, going through sort of application design to get familiar with the architecture. Um, so one group built this sort of uh, uh, messaging group chat thing, which was really cool. Um, I took an existing um, application called uh, Notebooks, which is like HackMD, and then uh, added backlinking to it. Uh, still needs some more work, but that's really exciting. Yeah, that's about it. We're, we've wrapped up. Uh, everyone here has been fully immersed in Rust and Holochain for two weeks. And now we're all going home and hopefully uh, continuing on our journeys of, of becoming or uh, continuing to be Holochain developers. And, um, you know, I just wanted, I guess, reflect on some of my experience or some of my thoughts around being a Holochain developer and uh, wanting to, to become uh, even more um, capable as a Holochain developer. And, you know, it, in these past few days, you know, I really started to see the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the just the developer experience of of going from nothing to a um, collaborative application with many users. Very soon, it will be so quick and easy for developers to just like spin up a prototype of some collaborative application, and I find that really exciting to to just have an idea and be able to implement it and you just don't even really worry about setting up servers you just set it up and send it to the people that you want to be running it and um and holochain does the rest hopefully you know maybe even you will be using a holochain application one day um, and you might not even know it and that's that would be perfect there will be more developer immersives i imagine soon and uh, I would encourage any of you interested in this technology to apply and check it out and just meet really incredible people and have incredible conversations. Uh, two weeks is not enough time. That's what I've realized. Uh, you know, um, so many rich conversations just getting started and uh, looking forward to reconnecting with fellow classmates, with the organizers, with the instructors, um, wherever our, our lives may reconverge. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Living Systems Network for planting the seed that has led to this journey, this opportunity to become a Holochain developer, to come to beautiful Austria and to meet so many incredible people and to, to advance my, my career as a, as a Holochain developer. It's um, just been such a life-changing and meaningful journey and it's, it brings me so much joy to, to reflect on that because I've been so interested in technology and software development, but it wasn't until I discovered Holochain that there was a world in which being a software developer didn't mean um, working for a big tech company and perpetuating these patterns of centralization and uh, power and information asymmetries that just lead to the self-destruction of, of cultural uh, plurality and yeah it's just been such a an honor to have been welcomed into multiple communities with open arms starting with the living systems network community in mount pleasant vancouver where we would get together and garden every sunday and not only that but they provided me with a uh, a safety net to double click on holochain and actually not just think about it as a cool idea but to actually um pursue it as a career that started with the uh, article series that I had written and then um, eventually connecting with Sprillo and and moving on to actual holochain development in a more professional uh, capacity and it's just been so incredible to have been welcomed into this this broader global community of, of developers and other people that are interested in Holochain and really see the vision and it's just really exciting and, and not only exciting but it just brings a lot of joy and comfort knowing that there are people out there and there are communities out there where 
you can really feel a strong sense of belonging. At the end of the day, that's almost like the most important thing is in life is, is to have strong community, a strong support network of friends and family and colleagues that are there for you and you're there for them. And we can uh, go on this life journey together and, and see uh, where we end up. Mm -hmm.